Have you ever played Castle Crashers? Well, no. How did you never touch this masterpiece? Well, let me give you a little summary of the game. Castle Crashers is a game where you have female. Friendship. War. And even more females. Alright, let's get started with this video. So this game has 12 achievements. I've already acquired one though. The achievement I acquired was the one where you have to play Back Off Barbarian for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. It wasn't a very difficult achievement to get because I've already beaten it so many times on my PlayStation and I was using a PlayStation controller for this entire video, well except the start because I was trying to see how it is on keyboard and I beat it so we don't have to get that one. Alright, let's just get started with this. So the first thing we need to do to start unlocking these 12 achievements is beat the game. If you've never played Castle Crashers, the story is very simple. You see that guy? That motherfucker stole our king's crystal. Not just that, he also stole our damn princesses. So the point of the game is just to get the crystal back and get all the princesses back. But that's not just it. For every princess you save, you also get a kiss. Alright, to get to him, we first need to get three parts. The first part being the compass, the easiest one to get. As you start the game and beat this first area, you unlock the blacksmith area. Go there and you get the first part. To acquire the second part, the steering wheel, we need to beat a certain amount of bosses until we reach a certain boss, defeat him, and we get the steering wheel. So all the bosses that we had to defeat are the war machine, the barbarian boss, that after defeating the barbarian boss, we acquired an achievement called defeat any end boss without using any magic. Then it was the troll mother. And before we continue killing more bosses, we got attacked by a giant troll. And there was an achievement with this giant troll where the secret we have to escape it. If you successfully did it without getting hurt once, you get an achievement. After that boss, it was the catfish boss. Bear boss. Very easy boss, bro. Then it was a boss called Pipistrello, a bat boss. And no, I'm not lying, it is called Pipistrello. Well, I think that's how it's called because I can't really pronounce stuff. Check the wiki. There's another achievement here to get and it's where we have to catapult with 100% power. The next boss is one of the most annoying bosses and one of the saddest deaths. His name is Conehead Groom. Remember the giant troll that was chasing us? Well, he was the next one. The next one was the Conehead Groom's best friend, Cyclops. One of the saddest deaths as well because of this. Thumbs up to you too, bro. This is just a mini buzz, but yeah, the volcano. And finally, the dragon and the sock pocket. If you defeat them, you can finally get the second part you need to adventure to the next part of the game. Now with two parts acquired, all we need is the telescope. To get to the telescope, we need to go through the worst area in the entire game. The industrial castle. Why is this the worst area? Because these motherfuckers have good ass magic powers. Also, the entire area is one playthrough. You die, you gotta start from the beginning. Meaning you have to go through these damn difficult enemies, these big guys, these magic users, and the damn boss itself all on one go. But I ain't your average Castle Crasher player. I'm a pro. So I did it in my 20th try. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. My, like, my first or second try. Well, after going through the Industrial Castle, I made it to the Industrial Machine and beat the living shit out of it. You don't have to kill this guy, but he made me go through hell, so I beat the shit out of him too. So now with the compass, steering wheel, and telescope, we can head to the other part of the game. Now this other part of the game is kind of weird but we start fighting ninjas on boat and it gets more weirder than that but yeah let's continue. After the whole boat and ninja thing we got a shovel and this is where another achievement gets where we have to dig these spots not once, not twice, not three times either, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, but ten times. All that for this achievement. After the desert, we went and fought the aliens and the alien ship. Like I said, this game gets weirder. After that, I beat the hell out of them. I got abducted by them. Inside the ship, we did a wave of all the aliens attacking me all at once. 
but they had one health so it was very easy after the wave this brute freaking attacked the damn controls and made a sequence happen in this sequence you have a limited amount of time one minute to escape the ship it was very easy took like two tries though because i got trapped in one area after i escaped with two seconds left I made it outside to continue the story. After I made it through the desert again, I played volleyball with the enemies and I had to get 10 points to win. 10 points later, they gave me a map. The map reveals the other part of the game. The next level, it shows us that we need to get a horn to continue, so let's go get that horn. To get the horn, we first have to go through a cemetery full of skeletons to get to the boss. After the cemetery, we arrive at a cornfield, and if you guessed it, the boss is a corn. He's another annoying ass boss, as he just keeps going underground and above ground every few seconds the more damage you do to him. But after finally beating him, let's move on to the next area. I forgot to mention, beating him gets you the horn. Now we use the horn and go through this door to fight the next boss. After getting through the swamp, we finally got to the next boss. It's a very small area, so I didn't show it, but the next boss is my favorite boss, Medusa. You know why she's my favorite? Yeah! After beating her, we're gonna get to the worst part of the game. Remember the industrial castle? Well, this level is just like that. It's terrible. The worst one, bro. It's hard because of the damn brutes having so much health and armor. <sighs> After beating that horrendous level, bro, the worst level, we're gonna move on to the ice level. The ice level is not that long, it's just very annoying, and too many damn enemies. And I didn't have enough potions, but I still did it, so yeah, let's get to the boss of the ice level. Just as the ice level, it's another annoying boss, and it's not that long, but he makes it longer because of the damn things he's shooting above me. Well now, we are at the final level. All we had to do is just beat these people and get to these four doors. These four doors have four different bosses and then the final boss. So let's do this. The first boss is the painter. All he does is just paint on this thing and you have to fight him and his paints. The second door is this boss, the undead cyclops. He's back again and not just him, in this casket is his best friend, the groom. The third boss is the Necromancer, and he's gonna summon all the enemies you've ever defeated in brute form and normal form. After you defeated all of those people, you have to fight him. He's a very easy boss. All you have to do is block and attack. And now the one we've been waiting for, the fourth door. The final boss. The first thing we gotta do is destroy these crystal shards first so we can summon him. I don't know why he makes us fight the damn crystal shards, but yeah. Very easy, though, anyways. The boss itself is very disappointing because it didn't even take that long. Final boss was very easy. And yeah, that's the end of the game, guys. We did it! I lied, he has another face. So yeah, we have to beat this orb version of him. It's another very easy boss as you just go on top of him and do that. See how fast I beat him? But yeah, there you go. We won, guys. Now all we have to do is just collect our treasure and I fucking lied. He has another face. <laughs> so now we have to beat this spider version of him. And it's another very easy one, but he does get a few hints on me, and yeah. So after finally beating the spider boss, we have another damn phase. Yep, we are not done. He has another phase, and it's the orb one again. So we beat that very easily. And if you're wondering, does he have another phase? Yes, he does. Yep, this is the final one though, for real. But yeah, he does have another damn phase. In his final phase, he acquires the crystal sword. And with this sword, he will try to kill us. But do you know who I am? The Castle Crashers Master. Very easy, boss. After finally beating him, we have finally acquired the last princess. And now we can finally kiss her. I had to suffer through this. You're gonna suffer with me. Yeah, enjoy this. Very enjoy this. Mm hmm How you like that? Well, we have done it. We have acquired the complete the game achievement. We're halfway through the achievement, so let's speed run the last achievements. They're not that hard and they're not that long. The first achievement we got was be any boss with their own teammates. The second achievement we got was go through the entire barbarian area without attacking anyone. I did this with two controllers, so we did both achievements at the same time. The next achievement I acquired is for kissing all four princesses, boom, 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 in a multiplayer game. In a multiplayer game, you have to win 40 arena online matches 
Now, let me show you a trick for this. You saw that person that just left right now. He was in a different team, and then you see us all in the same team. That's a glitch that I did. If you do that, if you have three, two, or or even, yeah, two of people in the same team, and then one guy in a different team, and he leaves, it'll do a glitch where all of you are in the same team. Then when you go to melee, you'll instantly win the game like this. See? We won. So do that. All you have to do is just press melee 40 times and you get the achievement. The next two achievements I acquired, I lost the clips. The, the clips got corrupted and now I don't have the damn stream. Don't know why, don't know what happened to it, but yeah. So the next two achievements were just collecting all the pets and resurrecting all four players in a multiplayer team. So they all have to be dead at the same time. After that, there you go. We have 100%ed Castle Crash. This journey was fun and this edit is was fun too. It took me a couple days and so many hours. I just spent three hours right now editing this. Now I'm going to go make the thumbnail. This was fun to make and I really want to make videos like this. And I think this will be my style for now. If you guys really enjoyed this new style, like, subscribe, and comment on other challenges I can do in this game or other games. The next video won't be a challenge though, but it will be a new type of form of video as well. Alright, bye guys and go watch some more of my videos.